Hey there friends, Nibs again. Want to get out in the garage and do a quick mail call for you guys. Uh, I got a box in. I was hoping it was going to come today that showed it was out for for delivery and what I have in this box is actually very very cool. Very One of uh, every uh, air gun collector I guess should have one of these. <clears throat> I uh, they describe this on eBay as not holding air so even though it's a very cool gun it's probably gonna need a tear down in, in a reseal but I've been pleasantly surprised before um, just give you guys a quick look I have been working on my uh, my wall here backgrounds looking a little more pleasant for the air air gun community so to speak yeah. but uh, yeah we have a priority mail package here that just came in and let's see what we got maybe they were just using it wrong that would be wouldn't be the first time I've but they did have this described as not holding air these are very easy to find parts for, so it's not a big deal if it doesn't uh, doesn't work right off the bat. Let's go ahead. Very well, well wrapped. I like that. the bubble wrap noise that I know that makes a lot of noise in the uh, in the camera or in the, the microphone <coughs> there we go we got it now so, oh yeah she traveled pretty good it's all intact go ahead and get rid of this bubble wrap so what we have here Daisy Powerline model 717. I've never played with one of these, so I really don't know actually how it's supposed to operate either. It's got a little bolt right here. But I know you got a lever. It's supposed to be a single stroke pneumatic. Boy, it seems to be taking some air. I think uh, I think the valve might not be working. So it's so it's pumping up, but it's the valve is not releasing properly, which shouldn't be too big of a deal to figure out. Might just need to be cleaned up. That would be. Oh. You gotta cock it first. So yeah, it, it, it's firing and the air is just slowly bleeding out instead of the the valve <clears throat> coming open like it should. But I think this will be so. From what I've read, these are uh, a very awesome target shooting pellet gun. And uh, it really will. Oop! Be a nice addition to go along with my Model 62. This is a fantastic gun. Uh, this is a Springer, where this one is a single stroke pneumatic. So, very nice addition to the. to the crew, so to speak. I've only got ones up here that actually have a steel body on them uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons but uh, a lot of these BB guns and pellet guns are actually uh, have aluminum bodies so they're they're a little bit tough to hang up with a magnet but anyway so there you go Daisy Powerline model 717 um, 
They also made a 747 and a 777, which I think are just slightly upgraded versions of the same gun. Uh, what I read was maybe the 747 and 777 have uh, a Walther produced barrel, where this is uh, still a nice rifled barrel, but it's actually a da daisy product. But uh, there you go. We'll go ahead and get a seal kit on order for this guy and you'll be seeing a lot of this in the future on the channel. Alrighty friends, <clears throat> so I think this is uh, worth adding an addendum onto this unboxing video, but uh, for the Daisy 717. So after I finished the video up, I actually uh, blew this guy apart and um, Got it all back together again. The main thing that I actually found wrong was there was five pellets jammed inside the barrel. <laughs> so there was absolutely no way any air was gonna go through there. So it was pumping air. It was actually filthy inside. I cleaned everything up, re-greased, re-oiled everything, and it's really shooting pretty good. Um, I'll put a, I actually ran across the chrono, shooting pretty strong. About what I'm expecting that a single stroke pneumatic would do. I may buy a, a new seal kit for it anyway. They're not very expensive, about 20, 30 bucks, and get a whole new seal kit in there just for the sake of doing it. But for now, it's uh, it's actually running and running pretty good. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll just do a couple shots. Of course, I don't have my camera running downrange, but is just to prove that it's actually working for you guys more than anything so the way this works you got to cock this back and that will actually cock the I guess you call it the hammer to uh, that will actually actuate the valve and uh, so I'm shooting at I got one of these little One of these little, I think they're three quarter inch, three quarter inch diameter <clears throat> target dots on the target down there. And uh, I just shot that one and it actually hit the target. That hit that dot with it. So this is going to be a fun addition to the, to the channel. Oh yeah, very nice. Nice and quiet. Let me do one more. Yep, I uh, actually hit just below the the target dot that time, but still, that's a tiny little target for shooting across the garage. But so there you go. There's my Daisy Model 717, unboxed it, blew it all apart. It's a pretty interesting uh, design and I've never had a, a single stroke apart before so I didn't really know what to expect inside but pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and uh, she's fully up and running. Like I said, I'll probably will buy a, a seal kit for it and uh, get it totally refreshed. But uh, one th word of caution, uh, there is a little spring and ball detent inside the safety here. And word of, uh, from, <clears throat> from experience, they will go flying and disappear. So be careful with that. Um, luckily, I did find it. I don't know how I found it, but I did find it. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.